we invite you to a live online satsang with maharishika preeti this sunday to know more click the link in the description below so my question is that uh, when you're trying to evolve as a human being just you know as someone who wants to live a better life a more sorted life and you're dealing with the fluctuations of the world how do you know that when you take action which is surrendering to love it's an impulse from the soul or it's a push from the ego sometimes surrendering feels like maybe giving up which it is not but it's just that emotional burst which comes so how is one able to uh, differentiate as you normally lead your life most of it is led from the ego unless it is someone who's very aware of what's going on technically spoken you don't really have much to lose if you start to use the viveka buddhi the ability to discern and start to attempt to discern between the impulse of the antar atman the impulse of the soul and the clamor and demand of the ego firstly what one has to remember is that there's nothing lost then how do you deepen that sadhana or practice and how can you be sure so the deepening of the practice is by actually in every moment bringing yourself to this moment because in this moment it's much easier to surrender you're bringing yourself to this moment and then you can more feel that impulse than if you're scattered also the impulse of the soul as it's impulsing a system through this life is very subtle and very uninvolved it doesn't want anything it's just impulsing yes no no yes it has two polarities it's either a positive or a negative a negative or a positive that's how the soul's impulse is and it's almost imperceptible whereas the ego is very loud so you can distinguish actually and even if you've made 20 mistakes you still you're still better off than not doing it obviously because of the chances that you might do it right you know as far as the idea of surrender being giving up it isn't giving up because you're surrendering to the soul and you already know it's the antar guru it's the master within so you can't possibly be giving up because you know that it is supporting the joyousness in the system it grows the joyousness when you go with its impulse and when you go with the demands of the ego it is suffering so that 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 assumption is taken into account as well the sadhana the practice of surrender to love the surrender to love practice if you want to call it that is to bring yourself to this moment in each moment right now here 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 to bring yourself to this moment and then to be in that surrender state and yes when there is emotional trauma when there is you know conceptual trauma too much of thinking too many emotions it is possible that you fall back and then you pick it up again and you go back into that sadhana it is a practice it is a sadhana it's not something you can suddenly achieve in a minute it's a practice it's a tapas charya and it's a decision do i want to take up this sadhana and then if you really want to take it up then there are steps and things that one can do there's a body of knowledge this is not just an idea of someone sitting here on this asana it's an it's an entire body of knowledge grown over 20 and more years and it's a very new body of knowledge because it clearly focuses away from the enlightenment processes in fact it declares the enlightenment processes to be contraproductive to the actual fundamental joyous state of a human being 
because what is said here is that when you move into enlightenment states, you're moving into states of dissolution of identity, which is then contraproductive to taking up action in this moment, by this body, here and now. So it is a practice that you can take up after you ask yourself if this is what resonates with you. Okay, so it's very empowering, I mean. So when you say it's a practice that you can take up, is it a set of... like, is it a, a way of life? Is it a set of skills? Is it just being more conscious and more aware? It is a way of life, it is a set of skills, it is being more conscious and aware, it is a yoga system mm -hmm. Okay. and it is a new body of very precise knowledge. So, you know, we have a historical inheritance of enlightenment being the, the goal and the aim. And this, this teaching is in the spiritual trajectory, a point at which the, the very idea of moving into enlightenment is, is seen as an aberration. That what needs to be known of the cosmos, the various samadhi states, for example, Nirvikalpa Samadhi, Savikalpa Samadhi and so on and even the lower states of dissolution of identity are not aimed for at all because what is understood is that when there is a Samadhi state it means the perceiving identity has left the connect with the body. That's why, you know, people in very deep states of Samadhi they, they are barely able to speak, they are barely in touch with their bodies they are not present, they just are not. And this teaching is bringing the, the movement into the soul which is present here and now, the antaratman and its, its very present presentness in a state of surrender. So there is a body of knowledge, many inspirations gathered in a body of knowledge that can be also pursued. You know, once one is sure that that is what speaks, then... Because it's also very new. New in the sense that the Kriyas which have emerged are very precise, they are, they are different fundamentally from most of the practices because they're not only conceptual in nature. You know, like uh, if you are a Neo-Advaitin, then your practices are largely conceptual. Who am I? I'm not this, neti neti and so on, which are experiences, but have now been sort of twisted into being practices rather than experiences. If you take that path, then it's a very different mm -hmm. story than being very present here and now and actually learning surrender to the soul and to following its impulse. Mm -hmm. It's precise because the soul is material, it's, it's material, it's not a concept. Mm -hmm. But you can start with the surrender practice, mm -hmm. as has been described here. Is this action coming from the truth, from the soul, or is it arising from the ego? using the Viveka Buddhi, Viveka Shakti, the power of discernment. Great, thank you. We invite you to a live online satsang with Maharishika Preeti this Sunday. To know more, Click the link in the description below.